What's going on guys? Welcome back to the devil in me. So we have checked everything out in these this creepy well I'm not gonna call it a silo, but control room thingy. And I think we are ready to continue our story. So let's inspect this. Over here! Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Dumet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Okay, look, he's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay, but how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay, that's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Okay, so we did have a premonition about uh, Jamie being stuck behind uh, or almost getting crushed by a wall. So hopefully we have made the right choices up until this point. Head down the hall, keep to the right. Okay. Yeah, definitely a work in progress. How do range do you have to be to actually set up something like this? Yeah, like still markings on the floor or on the walls. Watch through here. Was this on the map? No. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Okay. I wonder if that's going to cause us any trouble. If we trap in between... Wasn't it between 5 and 6? And he can still get out. Okay, be brave, let's do it. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Um I'm not quite sure what's up with these mirrors. Everything else looks freaking gorgeous. But the mirrors they look like crap.
More rooms being built. Huh. Is that a little coin? Oh yeah, it is. A valuable one. Ah, uh, okay, so we have to go around. Found him. Jesus. Ugh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. He is good at disappearing. in a hurry. Not gonna lie, um, no, freaking way. Should play his game, that doesn't really work out. <laughs> Damn. No. No. Frick. symbol on it w what does it I do press it, then you're the one that dies. Oh, God. 
Nam Dumet! This is exactly what he wants. He's making you choose which one of us dies. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, um, I can't. I can't. Nope. 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 Jamie. I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Tell everyone I chose this, Kate. And if you get the chance to fuck the met up, do it. Promise me. I promise. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jamie! Thank you. Thank you. Survive, Kate. This is horrible. Shit. What an excruciating way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. Jamie chose not to save Erin when she could leaving her to die, deprived of oxygen, suffocating to death. Charlie, he managed to escape the furnace, only to fall straight into Jumet's grasp. Did the hint I gave you earlier help? No. Perhaps you'd like another. Yeah. Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. Oh. So awesome. I owe you. Come on. Yeah, bring the screwdriver. Definitely could use that again. You hear that? To be Fuck. freaking kidding me. He is um, persistent. Okay, 
See me on rotten boards? Sure. Give us the opportunity to stab this prick with a screwdriver. Why does he get to get a good weapon all the time? Okay, stay calm, stay calm. Okay, I think we should run for it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, turn around and jump on his freaking skull into this mush. Frick.
panic crystal time. Come on. Okay, escape from the maze. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong here? Damn it. But we just got Jamie back. I really did not see that going as wrong as it did. Come on. Come on. Why won't you see me through that? Survived Jamie's premonition and everything. Only way out is through. Okay. Whoops. That was a little clunky. This maze was a cute garden feature once. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where we are. Hmm, okay, so if you're situated correctly from here, forward, left, up, left. Nope. Hmm. Okay, backtrack from the exit. Seems like there's two of them. Hmm. Okay. No. Oh, this is a dead end. This is supposed to be a way out. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think this is a game for people with like chronic heart conditions, anything like that. Definitely not if you're, well, sort of susceptible to jump scares. And before playing this, I didn't think I was. I mean, compared to some of the stuff we've faced already, I'm guessing, well, I would say it's not that bad. Nope, not 
thought I saw something shimmering on the floor. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Okay, this is definitely something else. Let's just see around this corner then. Nope, nothing. Alright. Creepy mannequin parts. Okay, what we got here? Nope, come on. Let's try that again. Pick it up. I know he's your son, but I married you for you, not your son. Besides, it's your ex-wife's responsibility to stop him from doing stupid things, not mine. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm maybe just depressed already because of this trip. It's not what I had in mind when I said uh, when you said you were taking me away f to a secret island. I don't care if he's Harrison Lee, the famous horror fiction writer. You only work for him. You don't have to go on vacation with him too. Can't we just spend some time, the two of us? Sicily? Sicily. Ah. Dear Kurt, I thought it would be easier to write this down because I get upset when I try to talk to you about it. I'm in distress. You know I don't get along with Thomas. I just don't get why we have to take him everywhere with us. By your own admission, he's a fucking nightmare. And it's getting to me. Uh, it's getting me down, having him around all the time. Mannequins blocking the way behind the bar. A lot of creepy noises around here. Something up there. Oh, barbed wire on it. Okay, probably can't climb it then. This might be the next way through. So let's check out this place first. It's just the way around. Picture of a Oh, I forgot. The, a place where they make uh, cloth. Oh, okay. I guess this was the way we're supposed to go. Maybe it just ends up here. A handle for a... Circuit breaker? Oh, okay. Guess we'll need that. Uh, okay. There's nothing on the right here, was there? Whoops. 
there was. A little coin hiding in the rain. Okay. So let's go down, back through here. Then follow the wires, I'm guessing. See if we can hurry this up a bit. I'm definitely uncomfortable in here. Um, no clue. So I'm guessing that doesn't unlock this door. Hmm. That would have been my guess though. here old newspaper good morning chicago we begin today with some breaking news chicago police today confirmed the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse in the fulton river district to be that of missing fbi agent hector monday Monday has been identified as the shoeshine killer whose recent killing spree struck fear into the hearts of locals in and around Chicago. A spokesperson for Chicago PD confirmed Monday murdered four victims, including yesterday evening police officer Patrick Stanley, a dedicated veteran of 22 years. The fire was brought under control shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. The body recovered at the scene was burnt beyond recognition, but police identified Monday from dental records. Okay, so... Agent Monday definitely lost his crap. All the way through. And apparently died in a fire. But... I've probably seen too many movies. I don't trust that. <laughs> Okay, so, um, so what, guys? Uh, this is a, a pretty good place for us to take a break because too much depressing stuff in one go is uh, a bit hard. So, I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring this uh, creepy underground bar secret passageway thingy and see if we can make it through the rest of this without additional losses. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you appreciate it. If you did, consider giving it a like, and be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until then, take care, bye.